Hello, it's Kinnanigan. Now, I mentioned um, I wanted to run a stream tonight, possibly on cryptozoology. I've been doing a lot of research into Sabe and Sasquatch, and um, believe it or not, his story, I believe, starts in, um, it crosses over with something, you know, with some things from ancient Samaria and, um, my, you know, some beliefs I have on them, but, um, I want to share a video with you. This is Scott Nelson. He's a crypto linguist for the U.S. Navy, which means he studies speech in humans and animals. The infamous Sierra sounds that were recorded by, uh, I forget the, the actual name of the guy who recorded them, but uh, he's analyzing these. And yes, they have a language. So this is a 41 minute video. It's really good. I, I want to share the link because I could show maybe a little bit of this on a stream tonight, but 41 minutes is a little long, right? So I'd rather just share the... Uh, it's on a smaller YouTube channel, Linda Eastburn. She's only got 765 subs. Well, she got more subs than me right now. So anyway, um, but I thought this was really interesting because... He does break down and verify the fact that, yeah, um, they have a language, and it's undeniable. And um, so he breaks down all the uh, linguistics part from here from a you know, scientific standpoint, and it's really good because... Um, I got my own theories on why they cover up the existence of these entities. More or less, um, the bottom line would be they can't control them. And rather than acknowledge that we co-inhabit the Earth with a um, another species that... Um, and, and here's what I'm going to say. The reason why we um, they deny the existence of these creatures, one is obvious they are not slave creatures, which is what I believe... Whom Baba the Terrible is in the Epic of Gigglemesh. I believe that is Sasquatch. Who Gigglemesh had to hunt in the cedar forest. I believe what happened. Is these entities were on the planet at that time. They couldn't control them. And a lot like the native Terran reptilians. They just don't acknowledge their existence anymore. Because they can't control them. Supposedly Sasquatch are on a different plane of existence as humans. And what I mean by that is just the way we exist. Okay, They're out in the woods. They want to be left alone. They don't rely on modern technology. or um, They don't recognize international borders. Like between Canada and the United States. You think a Sasquatch is showing his passport to cross over into Canada? Yeah, I don't think so. So... What I mean by that, you understand their plane of existence is just not compatible with humans. They probably don't understand what our, you know, what we're even doing. <laughs> yeah. They seem curious about us, right? But um, <clears throat> and this is uh, some really interesting things. So, like I said, I I need to make a few videos a day, get the algorithm going. I'll I'll pin this link as the top comment. And uh, yeah, we're going to talk about this tonight on stream because it, uh, although here's the way I, Dave Pilates from Missing 411 is kind of aiming this way. And this is where I'm getting the idea. I don't really want to refer to Sabe as a quote unquote cryptozoological animal because he's not an animal. He is human. Um, there's, I mean, there's the proof is there. Not only with the language they have now, the DNA evidence from Dave Pilates um, showed that the females pull back human DNA. Look, regardless of what you want to believe, that means that there was some bioengineering going on, and I have some theories about this. Um, I'm not going to talk about it anymore right now because it kind of steps the boundaries and that's where you got to have an open mind um i'm not telling you to ignore the bible but you got to have an open mind when you're searching for facts and, you know facts are facts 
There are some people that just want to call anything they don't understand Nephilim, demonic. Uh, Sasquatch is not Nephilim. No, no way. In fact, I have a theory on who the Nephilim might be. It might have been... I think when they tried to bioengineer humans in Samaria, they didn't get the first ones down right. And the byproduct of that could have been what we know as the cannibalistic red-haired giants. They fit the bill more as Nephilim, I believe, than Sasquatch. But um, it's definitely interesting because this is... In a strange way, how does this tie in with the reptilian research I do? Well, the fact that they want to ignore their existence when we know pretty much it's a fact that we co coexist the planet with these entities and they ignore the fact that they exist should tell you. Why wouldn't humans just accept the fact? Okay, fine. You know, we coexist with them. They live in the woods. They should be left alone. You know, they're. In... it's fine, right? But... Apparently, the elite don't want to acknowledge it. In fact, they don't want to acknowledge any other entity, whether it's on planet Earth or the cosmos, that has similar or more intelligence than humans. Although they do promote the communicating with demons. Okay, that's okay. You know, if you want to talk to demons, that's fine. Just don't be talking to uh, dolphins telepathically don't be out in the woods communicating with sasquatch then they have a problem believe it, and in a strange way if you can see where i'm going at with that that is one of my reptilian proofs that is going in the book the denial of the existence not of just other species but other mysteries on planet earth where they don't want to acknowledge it because i told you these people in power lie and they lie and they lie so much and I think that's another reason why they every so often want to have a new world order because people start becoming aware they get sick of the lies like um yeah I mean just look what's going on with mainstream and Hollywood right now people have had it they're turning it off they don't want to you know <laughs> But in a strange way, to me, it's one of the proofs. So, it's all for my rant here. Like I said, a few 10-minute videos a day. Um, if you could support the channel, I would appreciate it. Like I said, I'm trying to grab something to smoke today. That would be awesome. Otherwise, uh, yeah, I'm still looking forward to like a 7 p.m. live stream. And we're going to talk about not just Sasquatch, some other cryptozoological things. But the point being, I don't know if I'm going to classify Sabe into cryptozoology anymore it's basically saying he is an unknown animal and here's a fact Les Stroud even said this if Sasquatch was a dumb ape we would have caught one by now and had it for display in zoos yeah you heard that that's a fact that just you know, if they were easy to capture, I'm sure we would have heard stories about Sasquatch being captured by the Romans and gladiators fighting them in coliseums. You think that sounds crazy? I'm not even joking about that. That was a thing back in Rome. Uh, so, the plot thickens. Um, look, I'm going to tell you, after I get the reptilian book done about alpha draconians the next plan is to work on a book about the native terran reptilians and ultimately i would like to because i got my own theories about salbe and what these are uh, um and if you notice the only good information that you can get about them that tends to be genuine is from first nations and we know what happens happen with the first nations when Europe took over the United States. A lot of our history from Turtle Island, that's what America is called, Turtle Island, was covered up uh, mainly by institutions such as the Smithsonian because um, it didn't fit their agendas. Yeah. So rather than acknowledge the existence of them, they choose to ignore it, which in itself to me is very unhuman. 
humans are curious. You know, we're curious as people. We like to learn new things, right? Uh, the idea that, you know, life forms that we don't understand. I tell people, you ever want to see aliens? Like, really? Go just watch a documentary about the deep sea ocean. Go watch a documentary about some um, marine life like octopus and cephalopods and uh, jellyfish. And you'll see all kinds of strange looking alien things in the ocean. <laughs> So, you don't have to travel that far, right? So, yeah, definitely some bizarre things going on on planet Earth. And why they keep denying the existence. Well, they actually don't deny the existence of Sasquatch. In the 1975 Geological Survey in Washington State done by the U.S. military, they acknowledged Sasquatch as a native entity but they made a joke about it in the, um, I'll show that in the stream tonight. Basically in 1975, yes, the U.S. government admitted in Washington state that Sasquatch do live there and they are real. So everyone's like, when we get a disclosure about Sasquatch, wasn't it? Well, they did admit it in 1975. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Uh, yeah, kind of. And then. So I'll show you that um, geological survey tonight where they actually admit that Sasquatch is a living, breathing creature in Washington State. Interesting, right? And if you know anything about the West Coast of the United States, like I said, all those Sabe can be found all around the country. The highest concentrations are in the Pacific Northwest in California, Northern California. And that is part of the old world. Whereas on the East Coast, where we have a lot of sand and pine trees, like New Jersey, the Pine Barrens, right? All up and down the East Coast is pine trees. I think that has something to do with the Great Flood and why the Anunnaki are holding pine cones to replant the forest after the flood. But it seems as though California and some of the old world survived. This is why the South Pacific is so strange. And you have uh, places like New Zealand and Australia that have animals like nowhere else on planet Earth. And um, these entities are probably even talked about in the Emerald Tablets of Thoth. Thoth says when he travels to the land of Chem, he brings the hairy barbarians to a high degree of civilization. And they were the ones who helped them build the Great Pyramid. Hey, isn't Sabe known to be pretty strong? Maybe lifting those pyramid blocks. Yeah. Oh, Kenny, are you telling me that Bigfoot helped build the pyramid? <laughs> hey. I, I, you know, might sound crazy, but you never know. <laughs> Who knows, right? Anyway, any questions or comments, leave them below. I'll leave this pinned as uh, a top comment. You want to come over and watch this video and the analysis of the Bigfoot language. It, it's fascinating. This is pretty cool. Take care and God bless.